to be the bad guy because I always have a vote. I always get to decide when and where I want to fight. I get to decide what assets I want to bring to the fight. I can sit there and I can hawk the fight and just wait. Just wait till things, the situations present themselves that are to my advantage. And I can levy those times, those capabilities to win blue or the good guys are weakest shifting the entire axis of the fight. So what they thought was happening is not at all what is really going on. That red star should induce panic, should induce terror. When you see me taxi by with my helmet on and my red star slapped on the back in a different colored F-16, you should start second guessing your game plan. Start questioning whether you actually really are prepared to go up against the world's greatest aggressor fleet. Being the bad guys, um, we don't necessarily replicate a certain country, but more a, a threat. So we'll replicate certain threat systems uh, depending on what um, the good guys are training to that day. We really are kind of the holders of the latest and greatest technology that our adversaries um, are out there employing today. So, so that's kind of the fun part in the training. So we not only train them air to air uh, when we're actually flying and employing against them, but also um, out there day to day we can, we can brief them uh, in mass, not only pilots, but also intel um, and whoever else wants to hear those briefs. So in the back of my mind, I'm coming up with this plan uh, to poke holes in what I think Blue is going to do, but really the underlying thought that I'm having is I hope they can crack this, you know, this problem sets. And, and actually kill us, defeat us, and we not obtain our objectives. Because again, if we are losing, if we are not obtaining our objectives on a certain mission as an aggressor, that means the blue is doing their job. Well, these appear to be heading uh, directly at us. I'm coming. So the original antenna red flag was to provide those first 10 combat missions to the young calf wingman. I want to provide competent and capable, qualified air crew to the combat air forces. I want them to have a credible sparring partner. You know, it's high stress. You have to make a lot of decisions quickly. The intent is for you to have a hard problem to solve so that when you go to combat, it's not as difficult as what you saw here and leave here as you know, the baddest kid on the block. <laughs>